All right, kindergarten, today we're going to practice using our watercolor paint again. I know it's been a while since we've used it. So let's break out that paint palette and talk about the parts of a paintbrush again. Just in case you forgot, this metal part is the danger zone. Remember, your hands are in danger of getting paint on them if you touch the danger zone. So remember, when you're painting, always hold your paintbrush by its handle because the handle is where your hands go. Remember that your paintbrush, she dances on her toes. She doesn't scoot on her bottom. So she's not scooting around like this. She's dancing so delicately on her toes. I have my Laurel Birch inspired kitty cat in front of me. I have a paintbrush, a paint ballot, and a little bit of clean water. It looks like there's yellow in there. It's just because I have an old cup that has yellow water in it but it's clean water. So remember that our paint is sleeping right now. I need to wake it up. I am going to start painting my kitty cat with the three colors that are closest to me in the paint palette. So red, orange, yellow. These are warm colors. They're next to each other. They all work really well when they are together. So I'm going to wake up that paint with some water. Remember you want to add about 10 drops of water to your paint to wake it up because it's been sleeping for a very long time. It's been sleeping for a couple weeks. We haven't used it in a while. So I'm waking it up. I'm adding my drops of water. Now red is ready to be used. So I dip my toes into my paintbrush. Let's zoom in so you can get a good look. When you want to put paint on your paintbrush, remember the only part that goes in are your toes, just the brush toes, just your ballerina toes. I do not want to see you swirling the paint around and around. That is not how you use the watercolor paint. Remember, if I see it, it's a reminder you're going to take a break and watch this video again so you can practice learning how to use the watercolor paint the right way. So I dip my toes in and I lift them out. The water that you see, that is the paint. It is watercolor paint. You want to get that water on your paintbrush. So I dip my toes in and I'm ready to start painting. So let's zoom out. I'm ready to start painting. So I am going, I already traced on top of all of a crown. So you should have crown on your paper. You are going to be painting all these white areas with your watercolor paint. Remember that if your paint starts to get scratchy, it's falling asleep. It needs some more water. So wake your paint up again and add your drops of water. Notice how I am coloring inside the lines. And I'm really taking my time. I'm being careful. I'm very concentrated. I find painting to be so relaxing. It's one of my favorite things to do as an artist, and I hope it becomes one of yours. But we do need to treat our paints with respect because we have the whole we have this year to use them. So if we destroy them by the end of the year, you won't be able to paint with them. So we have to treat everything with respect. So I'm ready. I want to change my paintbrush. To, I want to change a color. I want to stop using red and I want to start using, I don't know, orange. What do I need to do? Who can raise their hand and tell me what I need to do every time you change your color? What do you do every time you change your color? Yes, yes. You have to clean your ballerina's toes. You have to clean your paintbrush. So I'm gonna put my paintbrush inside my water 
I'm going to scrub it clean. I'm going to scrub it clean. Swish, swash, she's taking a bath. So she's splushed bath, she takes a bath. Then I want to use orange, so I need to wake it up. Add a couple drops of water to orange. Wake it up because it's sleeping. And dip your toes into that paint. You are ready to start painting with your orange paint. You dip it in, you lift it up, and dip it in, lift it out. Alright, 